Hey guys, this is Scarlett with Build Across, and today I'm going to show you guys how I paint this paint by line rain boot with flowers that comes in our kits. These kits are available in four different sizes, and I'm going to show you how I paint this. I'm going to go in first with um, the turquoise color and the largest brush that comes in my kit. All the kits include paint, a Sharpie brush stroke marker, assorted paint brushes, um, a DIY how-to sheet, and also the Paint by Line product cut out, of course. And now I'm just going in with that uh, turquoise color, and I will be going back in with a second coat on this. Um, some of the colors don't um, cover perfectly and also if you have any water in your brush that's going to make it a little more um, see-through so just kind of go in with a second coat whenever you feel it needs it um, you can just use your own discretion with that but I did go in with a second coat on these rain boots And when it comes to picking out paint brushes, you guys just go with whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm not really particular about the brushes that I use for base coating. Um, I more just get particular when um, I'm doing the detailing and any highlighting. I like to use certain brushes for that. But for this, just kind of go with whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going in now and filling in the polka dots with a light blue color. And you just want to make sure your brush is small enough um, to really do these outlining uh, well. Um, you don't want a big brush that you have to worry about um, and getting outside of the lines too much. But of course, if you do get out of the lines, don't worry about that too much because we will go in and outline and highlight everything and that'll make sure to clean everything up. I'm going to go in now with a hot pink color and I'm going to paint the petals on all the flowers. And of course, just take your time with this. Um, but again, you don't have to worry about getting outside the lines with these because we're going to outline everything and that will clean everything up. And again, you're not having to worry about freehanding anything because um, it's already etched in the cutout for you. And actually on the second sheet of our tutorial guide, um, it has this outline and all of the colors are numbered. So you can actually just look at that sheet and follow the um, number color guide and that's also really helpful. Next, I'm going to go in with a light green paint color, and I'm just going to paint the leaves. Now I'm going in with my yellow, and I'm going to paint the center of the flowers. And again, um, I'm just kind of doing one coat on most of these, but if you feel like you need to go back and do a second coat, go right ahead. Um, it's going to look fine without it or with it. It's also going to depend a lot on um, how thick you coat it the first time. So if you feel like you need to do a second coat, you can. Uh, but make sure that after you're done painting the base coat that you give everything plenty of time to dry um, before you go in with the marker. Now I'm going in after everything is completely dry with my Sharpie Rush Stroke Marker and outlining everything. This marker is so awesome for this because you have so much control over it. It makes really clean lines um, and it's just easier because using a marker gives you a lot of control and um, you can kind of keep your hand more steady than using a paintbrush. Um, so it's one of the reasons I really love to use the marker. And of course this marker does come in your kit which is super helpful. Whenever I'm outlining with a Sharpie marker, I kind of just let my marker fall into the grooves. Um, and that also kind of helps to stabilize the marker, um, just kind of having it on those grooves. And it's really so easy. Um, anybody can do it. So that's something I want to keep in mind whenever we're designing these kits, is that it is user friendly. And I do believe these markers and the products that we've chosen are. I'm going in now with a number four round, and that is included in your um, brush packet, and the white paint. And I'm just highlighting everything to kind of brighten it up. Of course, give that step if you don't feel comfortable with it. It'll look fine without it. Uh, but after that, it's complete. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and really enjoy these kits, and have a great day.